a winner is just a loser who has tried one more time i choose to believe in this statement and start this story it was the day of the vidarbha level obstetrics and gynecology quiz any day can be special if you want to make it special for me that special day was today i woke up early and got ready to be honest i couldn't get much sleep last night turns out when you are stressing about something your cortisol and the sympathetic system mess up with your pineal gland you know the gland that controls the circadian rhythm in simple words if your brain cannot relax you cannot sleep i took my bed head to the bath and made myself a bit more presentable i was in college by 7 am itself it was not the usual day of college though representing gmc nagpur in a vidarbha level quiz has its own pride and pressure seems like it worked and now we are going and meeting the team and then going all the way to jnmc sawan me and my teammates the two geniuses janvi and sasruti were in team b team a was formed by atharva shrirang and shreya all six of us were on the way to jnmc sawan I tried to stay calm but inside my heart was in overdrive. It had been a long time since I gave my last quiz. Maybe it was before covid. So it was a very new experience for me at that time. And this thrill, the high that I was feeling, it was amazing. I can definitely get used to this. The journey was silent. Everyone was trying to read something. I personally don't like the idea of last minute revisions though. I feel like if I read one thing I will forget the other thing and it will just mess everything up inside. So I put my earphones on and listen to my favorite songs. It is something that I do to relax. Uh I have sort of conditioned myself to do these things. You know like Paolo and his dog. In no time I was in Varda. My hometown Seiring was so close I could literally see it. But maybe next time because I had more important place to go and that was JRMC Savangi. The college was beautiful and mesmerizing. It felt like I was going in a whole new world. Our quiz was in the auditorium and we were the first team to arrive at the venue. After all the formalities were cleared and the registration was done, we went upstairs where the general quiz committee has arranged breakfast for us. Sight seeing the beautiful campus, I enjoyed my coffee with some upma. I am not a big supporter of coffee, but I do believe that it helps in concentration and elevation of mood for some time. Just so we are clear, too much coffee will short circuit your brain. not something that you want to happen before the quiz the moments before the screening round were very tense we all have heard that laughter is the best medicine to any disorder right so we tried it to relieve a bit of our tension so our small talk turned into a weird discussion and we had a belly full of laughter excited for the quiz yeah Our mind was finally at ease but our heart was still racing. It was not fear, it was excitement for the quiz. The adrenaline rush, we all could feel it. We wanted to go to the quiz and attempt it as soon as possible. That's the kind of excitement. And the screening round was about to begin. 15 teams competing for the 6 spots in the final quiz on the stage. 50 MCQs sealed the fate. A part of them were from community medicine, some were from obstetrics, some were from gynecology and it was all a mix up. For me, the question paper was hard. As there was no negative marking, we went for the educated guesses for the rest of the questions. The screening was over in just 15 minutes and the time passed by like a blink. As the quiz committee was checking our answer sheets, Mehak and other organizers kept us entertained with the tour of the college campus. Ye help club hai? Nice. The health club, the gym, the playground, the swimming pool, everything was grand and aesthetic. I had a lot of fun and we took a lot of good photos. Yahi baat hai to aage ja ke yaad aayegi, hai na? So what's up guys? How's your prep going? 
Not the best question to ask after the screening round. The screening was fine though, not too bad. Janvi Sanskriti, how was the screening? Atharva, Srirang. The rule stated that only one team from one college will get selected, no matter how high the score of the other team was. With the score difference of just one point, Team B was on the stage. Screening cleared. It's time for the main quiz now. I could not capture all the things that happened afterwards because I myself was on the stage. But I distinctly remember everything that happened. Round one. We messed up in two questions. One of them was the WHO value of mifepristone in abortion. It was 800 microgram but we hesitated and did not answer it. Round 2, it was image based questions. At the end of this round, the difference between GMC Nagpur and the top team that is AMC Nagpur was 40 points. Round 3, investigations. Round 4, clinical cases. By the end of round 4, the difference was 70 points. Round 5, connect the dots. There were 3 images. One was hydrosalpinx, second was an infertility clinic and third was a laparoscopic view which I confused with pseudomyxoma peritonei. But rare diagnosis is rarely correct. The answer was genital tuberculosis. It was a very obvious answer and I did a silly mistake. Now that I think about it, that was not a silly mistake. That was my mistake in the preparations. There was negative marking and my team lost 20 points. The last round was rapid fire. We tried our best to cover up as much as possible and we did really good. 70 points out of 100. That's good. But it was not enough to fill the gap. So at 280 points, standing first is team from Ames Nagpur. <laughs> team direct. Of course the student performance is there. So <laughs> We lost. The top three rankers were Ames Nagpur, JNMC Sawangi and GMC Gokia. The quiz was over. No one likes losing and I was not in my best mood. But my friends cheered me up. Hota hai yaar, chalta hai. Kaafi achcha ke tum log. Those simple words along with the chit chats and jokes made me feel much much better. I am a really sore loser but as Sanskriti said, it's the first time I really got to know why journey is much more important than the destination. We did not want to end our day on a bad note and we did have some time on our hand so we went to Sevagram to meet Bapu and get some guidance from his footsteps. If you weren't capable, the opportunities would never come your way. Be scared and do it anyway. Be underqualified and get in the room anyway. Be messy, imperfect, unsure and show up anyway. Comfort is an enemy to growth. Be uncomfortable and do it anyway. Now that I think about it, the difference between me and the toppers was very obvious. I was grossly underprepared. It all boiled down to the number of revisions. Reading book was not enough. Making these mind maps was not enough. Practicing MCQ questions was not enough. It all boiled down to how much you could revise what you learned. And I failed in that. In the end, that's a lesson well learned from the quiz. Today, I lost. But I'm still smiling. Because there is always tomorrow and I am ready to face it with everything I have got. For now, I will go study for my pediatrics post and exam. And that was it for the quiz. We lost but not with a very good margin. I think if we could have prepared a little bit more, 
it would have been the results would have been something different well better luck for me next time and it was a very big learning opportunity so thank you dear and